Hi friends, I am Dr. Rajeshwari Reddy. I am a gynecologist and an obstetrician and a laparoscopic surgeon with 18 years of experience from Hyderabad. So today we will be talking about gynec laparoscopic procedures. So what is a laparoscopic surgery? It is a procedure involving very small 5 mm or maximum 10 mm incisions and doing a surgery using laparoscopic instruments while in an open surgery where you are using both the hands, the incision is around 5 to 8 centimeters. So what is a laparoscopic hysterectomy? It is a procedure of surgically removing the uterus and the tubes with or without the ovaries laparoscopically. So what are the indications of hysterectomy? The most common indications of hysterectomy are fibroids, adenomyces, abnormal uterine bleeding, precancerous stages, etc. What are the preoperative advices that we give the patient? We ask the patients not to have any solid or liquid diet 12 hours prior to the surgery. Sometimes when the uterus is large or if the patient is obese, we may ask the patient not to have any solid diet for 24 hours and not have liquid diet for 12 hours. This makes our procedure a little more easy. We also give them tablets which are laxatives so that they can pass stools two to three times so when they come for surgery, the bowel is empty. Once they come to the hospital, we secure an IV line, catheterize the patient and induce general anesthesia. The average time taken to do a laparoscopic hysterectomy varies between 45 minutes to 90 minutes. Let me explain the procedure for laparoscopic hysterectomy. As in any gynec laparoscopic surgery, we take three incisions. The first one supraumbilically with which is just above the umbilicus and two ports which may be on the same side of the lower abdomen or on opposite side of the abdomen. Now these ports are by surgeon's preference. So next when from the umbilical port we introduce the telescope and the camera to visualize the uterus, ovaries, tubes and all the internal uh, organs in the abdomen and then from the two different ports that we have introduced on the lower abdomen we start cutting the uterus from its supports ligaments and tissues and deliver the uterus vaginally and then once the uterus is delivered vaginally and out we need to suture the vault so the vault can be sutured vaginally or laparoscopically so when the vagina is sutured from the vaginal side it is called lap assisted vaginal hysterectomy and if it is sutured laparoscopically then it is called total laparoscopic hysterectomy and once the suturing is done uh, vaginal pack for the next four to six hours so patients often keep asking me that uh, open procedure is better. Uh, they feel that there's some piece or something left out in a laparoscopic surgery. So I want to make it clear the only difference between a laparoscopic surgery and an open surgery is the difference in the approach of doing the surgery. The surgical procedure that we do inside the abdomen is just the same. Having said this, there are a lot of advantages of laparoscopic surgery. There is very less bleeding as compared to open surgery. The incisions are very small and in a 5mm incision, we just stick it with a glue. We don't even suture the incisions. The pain is very minimal. So use of painkillers is also very minimal. There is early ambulation. Most patients start walking after 8 to 10 hours of surgery. There is very fast recovery. The infection rate is very, very less. This also leads to decreased hospital stay and patients also have the cosmetic advantage of not having a big scar. They can start liquid diet almost about 4 hours after the surgery and almost within 24 hours they are back on their routine diet. Technically this is more sound because there is an imaging uh, which we see which is very clear and magnified which makes the surgeon more efficient. We do not miss out on seeing anything and also there are more people who can visualize the image and also give us suggestions. The bridge of cost between open surgery and a laparoscopic surgery has also come down a lot. 
so laparoscopic surgical procedures are more affordable these days laparoscopic procedure or also an added advantage when patients are diabetic or hypertensive they can get back to their uh, diet and their medication very quickly and early ambulation also prevents many other complications so it becomes more easy for the attenders to uh, help the patient recover from the surgery they these patients do not need help to go to the washroom or to have bath they are able to do their own work within 2 to 3 days of surgery having told all the advantages of laparoscopic surgery this is it is not like it is absolutely devoid of complications it can present with internal injuries burn injuries port infections and very rarely hernia but as in any other laparoscopic surgery the skill and the experience of the surgeon is most important thing to decide before you go for laparoscopic surgeries thank you